Hello and welcome to my channel, My Garden, My Passion. Today I would like to show you how I have placed my shade loving or so called indoor plants. Often friends keep asking me that they are not sure where to place their plants and how much light and sunlight. So the best advice I give is that you should know the native or the origin of the plant. And here I have all the plants that are uh, mostly native to the forest floors of the rainforest and they grow very well in the shade. Now I will show you each one of them individually. So here's the overall look of the foliage plants in this corner and you will see that they are all kept under the widespread chikku tree. You can see some here and there because it's not really the season for chikkus but you can see how widely spread it is providing shade in my garden. Since I have so much of shade, I cannot go grow flowering plants and that's why I have this foliage corner. So here you can see in this corner my most favored plants are these syngoniums. I have seven to eight varieties of syngoniums. I call them my favorite plants because they are so easy to grow and they grow so fast. One more advantage is that syngoniums can grow only in water. So this pot has only water in it. I haven't bothered to change the water also because the leaf litter has probably become organic matter and fertilizer for the plants. So here are the beautiful syngoniums. Then I have these diphenbacchias with different patterned leaves. You can see two different patterns. Here these are speckled and these are more like stripes. See the wonderful leaves. Then you also have these smaller variety with the plain leaves. A prominent midrib, edges green and light green in the center. This place also has a fern here. So the place is suited for ferns too, though I don't have many ferns here. Then I have this alocasia. This alocasia has been there in my garden from very long. It multiplies a lot and quickly too even a small piece of the tuber will produce them and that's how I have all of them growing all over my place and I have given them to many friends. So here is this other alocasia, velvet alocasia, a beautiful one with a very prominent veins. Though it is called velvet, it looks velvety and the feel is not so velvety. There is another alocasia here. Because of the filtered light, you may not be able to see some part of it clearly. I have done this video only to show you how it receives light in the morning. It's now 11 o'clock. By 12 o'clock, there will be no sun here. So these are the beautiful caladiums. The caladiums go dormant in winter. Then I just place them behind and once the rains fall, they unfurl into these beautiful patterns. And I have some philodendron here. Philodendron is here. Then I have the anthuriums. I have this prayer plant. There's another beautiful pattern leaf. It is called as the never never plant I have the lipstick aglonema there are a few begonias too that have crept in here so this is more like a nursery and all of them do uh, well here all the foliage plants do extremely well in this uh, spot i also have some hanging plants they are ceramic pots that are hanging from the branches of the chikku tree. Here I have a cow lying inside the shaded spot. 
with the pothos hanging down then i have this succulent plant though succulent is not a complete shade loving i think this morning sunlight is just enough for it so it is doing quite well there's another pot with the creeping chali in it literally creeping down if you allow it to grow on the floor or on the ground it will be creeping and here is this senecio species which is often confused with the english ivy because of the shape of the leaf but this is a succulent plant it has beautiful variegation it will bloom only if it gets enough sunlight since this does not get full sunlight my plant doesn't bloom but the leaves beautiful leaves compensate for that then i have a small setup here i kept painted some trunks and kept mugs on them the mugs with water and the plants in them often you are gifted with mugs by friends and we don't use all of them so this is the best way to repurpose your mugs and uh, i use leka balls in the mugs even when i am gifting i instead of just giving a plain mug i use leka balls and then put some plants in it see leka balls create these beautiful roots most of them are there philodendrons and the pothos here so you can see that all these plants are the so called shade loving plants and also called as the indoor plants i am not too i i mean i don't favor keeping plants indoors and maybe i am fortunate that i have enough of outdoor space i feel plants need to have the fresh air around them and get the natural light and here as i said they are all from the forest floors the main thing they require is shade filtered light and humidity the placing of the plants together has created the right humidity so if you are wondering where to keep your foliage plants always keep foliage plants in a shaded place with filtered light and try to place them as close as possible so that they create the natural humidity see this is in the midst of summer where we have reached around 40 degrees centigrade in spite of that the plants have remained green and beautiful of course the recent showers summer showers have also done good to these plants and and it's a pleasure to watch these plants during the summer because they send out good vibes with the greenery and the colored foliage so you will notice all of them are foliage plants and none of them are flowering because for flowering you require at least 6 to 7 hours of sunlight and here i get only the morning sunlight uh, but i am happy with this i have taken advantage of the shade that is there in my garden and try to grow as many as the foliage plants i hope you like this video and please watch my other videos where i have told you why i don't like to keep indoor plants and why the name indoor has come and about the oxygen giving plants i have made videos on all those topics and you may be interested to tune in to them so happy gardening and thank you